from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains, MLB The Show is on the air. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on the show. I'll be joined in a moment by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, but first let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Stars as voted on by you, the fans. Final preparations being made down on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League All-Star Game on the show. And it comes your way next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2021 National League All-Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. Miles Michaelis, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days throws strikes and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And I want to focus on first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. I'm going to steal a line from my partner here, Dan Plesak. Hashtag Goldschmidt happens. This former gold glover can play some serious defense as well as carry this offense. So stepping in is Jose Ramirez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder coming in. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -Row. That looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book, but nonetheless, he got the job done. Yeah, a little choke in the boat right there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. Into the box now. Xander Bogart. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Falling behind now, three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Ramirez gets his lead at first, nobody out. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Alvarez. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. One one. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. None out. Runners at first and second. Ball two. 
It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for rep number one. Batting four. So now here is Aaron Judge looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Aaron Judge. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Nope. And that just misses the corner inside to even the count of two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll that see if he good. can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. The second baseman, Labor. Two on, two out, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. It's ball four. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. Striding forward now is the DH, Rafael Devers. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fouled away. to center field. Bellinger's under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. Bottom of the first straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Zach Plezak, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, he's what you call a solid starter, Matt. Most of the time, he's going to keep you in games and eat up innings. Sometimes he's more dominant than that, and occasionally he'll get hit around a little bit. But if he attacks hitters and throws quality strikes in this one, he's going to be just fine. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And let's focus our attention on Xander Bogart. Shortstop up the shoot. One of the best in the business. One of the smoothest players in the game. We talk a lot about Robinson Cano and how he goes about his business at second base. The X-Man is no different at shortstop and the bat plays too. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And it's fouled away. 
It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Full count now. Three and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes nope. ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second. From the end. So up steps Ozzy Albies. First chance Ozzie. for him here with a man on Ozzie. following the leadoff walk. And he got him. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, that a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Soto. So now to the plate, Juan Soto. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Swung on by Soto, and he connects to deep right. Judge looks up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center as the National League moves out in front here, two to nothing. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. To the plate now, Cody Bellinger. And he fouls this one off. Still only one out in the inning. Fouled off. Another 2 2 offering. Bouncer to the left side. Ramirez is there. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. That is good. Well, you can't fault the effort by the first baseman there. He did his best to make the save, stretching to his backhand side. He just can't quite close the glove on it, so it'll go down as a throwing error. safely at the plate Corey Seager two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager Bellinger stands at first with one out Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Batting fifth. So a runner at first with two away, and up next the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. One-one. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this will get fouled. It's a ball and two strikes. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter you just have to give up pull side to stay on it. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three.
but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's the National League two and the American League nothing. Here's Randy Arozarena. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. And it's up to a three two full count now. Three balls, two strikes. And there's a base hit on the line. Hey, nice leadoff single to start the second right there. They're already down. They got to find a way to stay on the attack and get back in this game. We'll see how they play it here. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. Popped up. Smith shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting done. From the Detroit Tigers. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And let's focus on Corey Seager. Cal Ripken Jr., anyone? This guy looks like the spitting image of Iron Man. I think he's just scratching the surface of a Hall of Fame career. Multiple MVPs, gold gloves, you name it. Corey Seager is on fire. Into the box, Miguel Cabrera. Pitch outside the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall pass to throw him out, stealing the bag. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that. And the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The NL leads this one 2 to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Will Smith. The 1 1. Nope, that's a ball. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Now the 2-1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Now another 2-2. Swung on and shot toward the hole. Glove by Cabrera. And there's He's one up. away. Batting it. Rough nut. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. At the plate now, Nolan Arenado. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Fouled away. The 2-2. 
2 2 one more time. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. He's looking a lot sharper to settle in here not. in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Again, he sends it out of play. They'll try again, one, two. Ball two. Two ball, two strikes. Second, Torres has it. Over to first, and that retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played two full. It's the National League two and the American League nothing. Jacob deGrom is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 48, Jacob DeGrom. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jose Ramirez, one for one with a single so far. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Into the fountain and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and with it, the American League has trimmed the deficit to two to one now. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. And now, Xander Bogarts. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. All the makings of a big inning right one already left a yard, and the power hitters are coming up. Three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. No outs, nobody on. high in the air out to left field. Long run for the left fielder. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box now. Jordan Alvarez. And he fouls this one off. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Bogarts leads off second with nobody out. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And that'll bring up.
Aaron Judge. Aaron. A face knocked to the outfield could Judge. score the tying run from second. Two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. And over to third now is the runner. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score all sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. One out and a runner on third. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. Smoked on the ground left side. And a base hit as that'll score the runner from third and tie our ball game at two apiece. No, you try and execute a pitch, Dan. I'll leave you to answer now that. But right there as a batter, you see the infield back. You take everything, all the variables into consideration. You're not trying to do too much. Anything on the ground that stays off the corners gets you an RBI. Now mix in the fact that it found the hole, and he's got a knock to go with it. Yeah, it's so frustrating as a pitcher, Dero. You think what you make is a good pitch. Infield playing back, a ball is able to sneak through. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Bellinger is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. We just witnessed a very impressive running grab in the outfield, worthy of taking another look with show track. He had a long way to go, 125 feet according to the data, and of course the route and top speed were exceptional as well. Standing in now, Rafael Devers. No contact there, and it's one and two. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Albies picks it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Shane Bieber, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Mookie Betts. Balls and two strikes now. Here now the two two. Three, two. Finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play.
at the plate, Ozzy Albies. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. And another foul ball. Here's another one, two. Hit down the third baseline. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss for route number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the now pen back. to start this inning. No That's back-to-back -back K's, and oh. he's making it look pretty easy. Go, this go. has the makings of a good outing so far. in now Juan Soto on a line that's a base hit boy just when you're looking for one of those shutdown ends you get two quick outs D roll then you have a, a two out base hit to, it's no the in it yeah you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away maybe no chance everybody's in there grinding every at the bat every plate appearance Nice job. Maybe a little two-out lightning start. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 two -two ball game. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Vasquez is after it, oh. and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Three innings complete, and we are tied 2-2. Jack Flaherty will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 22, Jack Flaherty. Set for the start of the fourth. And up next will be Randy Arozarena. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next to hit is Christian Vasquez. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. One out, nobody on. Hey. Two and two. Full count now. Three and two. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Well, we'll see a lot of these power oh, arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. High in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. One, two, three go in the American League. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, all even at two apiece. Lucas Giolito, the right hander standing six foot six, now will take over pitching duties here. Number 27, Lucas Giolito. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak at the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year. Corey Seager settles in to start things out. The 
that like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark and it's two balls and two strikes now wow I can't believe the hitter took that one the pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger late on that one is it's fouled off to the left side. Ready with another 2 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The bat. So one down, no one aboard. And up next, the left handed hitting Michael Conforto. Two runs on two hits and no errors on the NL line score thus far. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Sliced hard on the ground. Go on the first will get him scored at 5 3 on the put out, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. The catcher. So now to the plate, Will Smith. Called strike two. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Fastball is outside and it's full now. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's following off some tough pitches. Two-two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 3 2 one more time. And a changeup couldn't ball get four. him to bite, and it's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys now is exactly it. what Two we saw three, right man. there. Pitchers no work way. around them and nibble the corners oh, a lot no. more so they don't get burnt. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Smith, the runner at first with two gone. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. It's a 3 to 2 ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout. Standing in now, Paul Goldschmidt. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Fouled off. He set the two-two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We're through four. It's the National League three and the American League two.
Herman Marquez please. takes the mound now as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 48, Herman Marquez. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Yeah, he absolutely torched a fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no-doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. That's a ball. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. The 2-1. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here now the 2-2. Fouled away. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. 2-2 one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So bases are empty with one out now. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Lifted in the air out to left field. Soto is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone Go now. Number 44, Jordan Alvarez. Next, it'll be Jordan Alvarez. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's a 333 hitter. The 2 1. Hard liner to center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. American League goes down in order. They're down three to two. Kenta Maeda gets the call from the bullpen now, to pitch in relief. Number 18. Kenta Set now for the bottom of the fifth and standing in the outfielder, Mookie Betts. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 1 1 is taken for strike two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here comes the one-two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Juan Soto to the plate now. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The two-one pitch. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind three-one to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Betts on second. Albies on at first with nobody out. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. 
I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. So here's Cody Bellinger, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses off the plate. Bases loaded here, nobody out. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Grounded to first. Cabrera's got it. One there. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a wrap. Into the box now, Corey Seager. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be balls, a big pitch for strikes. him today. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit hard on the ground to second. Torres picks it up. Throw to first He's in up. time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the National League four and the American League two. Kevin Gossman takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now, for the National League. Number 34, Kevin Here's big Aaron Judge. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's got eight hits and 17 at bats. He's also hit three home runs. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now batting. The second baseman, Labor Torres. And stepping in, Labor Torres. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The 1 2. I got to kill. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. We're in the sixth inning now of a four-to-two ball game. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He's set. Here's the two-two. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Now back, the designated hitter, Rafael Devers. Here now is Rafael Devers. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Two runs, five hits, one error in the contest for the American League. High in the air out to center field, giving chase is Bellinger. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three go to the American League. Still down by a count of four to two. Marco Gonzalez enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number seven, Marco Gonzalez. Digging in will be Michael Conforto. 0 for 2 on his line thus far.
the 2-2. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the payoff pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now that is the catcher. Now to bat, Will Smith. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at 2 and 2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. To the plate now, Nolan Arenado. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two out, nobody on. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something. Next to dig in, Paul Goldschmidt. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Arenado is off the of first with two away. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2 2. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. NL leaves one as they can't add to their four to two lead. Your Brad Hand is, is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 52. Brad. Now yeah. it'll be Randy Rosarena. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Maddie. 
squared up the fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the oh, heater, and he's prepared for this next day, baby. The count now at two and two. Now a ground ball to Seeger at short. Fielded cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The catcher. Up next, Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Shot sent off to the right side, but foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat up next for the American and that'll bring up the veteran the Miguel baseman. Cabrera his career Miguel. line against Brad Hand oh, just off. one for six Ball. fastball close but he didn't get it two and one Down the left field line and deep. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 2 2. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Bounce to first. Taken in by Goldschmidt. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. It's the National League 4 and the American League 2. Ryan Presley gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 55. John Birdie is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Count still full, three and two. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three and two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Eduardo Escobar will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Eduardo. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. 
Wilson Contreras will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Number three, Wilson Contreras. Now the one and one pitch. Hit back toward the mound. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Ian Happ will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Number eight, Ian. One, two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. The one, two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. One left for the National Leaguers, but they still eat this one four to two. John Birdie please. stays in the game after Nick pinch hitting, and he'll be patrolling right field. Now playing right field. Number five. Eduardo Escobar will remain Birdie. in the game at second now base after coming on as a Number pinch hitter five. in the last half Nick inning. Birdie. Wilson Birdie. Contreras takes Number over out in left field Birdie. after entering the game in a pinch hit role last half inning. Birdie. Ian Happ will stay in the ball game Number as he eight. takes over in Birdie. center. Will Smith has been summoned from the ball. He'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51. Will Smith. Hunter Alberto is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. The batter, number two. Shortstop, Xander. Alex Lincoln. Bregman steps into the on-deck circle now looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Number two, Alex Bregman. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. In time to He's first out. and there are two away. Up next to the American League. The left fielder. Yordan. Alvarez. Jared Walsh gets the call as a pinch hitter and he'll get a chance with two out and the base is empty. Pitch home. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old Cut will leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. American League goes down in order. They trail it here four to two. Hunter Alberto remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Alex Bregman will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Jared Walsh will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Ken Giles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ken Giles. Tyro Estrada is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. The 2-2. Two -two. 
right side but it's going to be a foul ball. The 2 2 pitch and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. JT Real Muto will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. JT Real Muto. One one. Ball two. Lifetime numbers against Ken Giles. He's 0 for four. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Ball four, so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batting, catcher, Will. Digging in next, Will Smith. No hits to this point. Real Muto leads off first with one away. Looked like he got right, pulled on the two speed two. there, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job oh, there of exploiting that. That baseman. can be real hard for some no guys way. to overcome when right, teams start uh -oh. figuring out what locations you just can't handle. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And eight He's innings out. have come and gone now as the inning is over. NL leaves one as they can't add to their four to two lead. Tyro Estrada is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Josh Hader comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 71. Josh Hader. Mike Trout is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench ready to lead it off in the ninth. Two pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He now fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. Lindbergh. That's a pretty bad place to be, but so then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's Ladies not easy to do, but now his three. focus has to hone in on Pinching getting ahead on the next three. guy. Number seven, Tim. Right side hit hard, and that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Sean Murphy will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 12, John Murphy. Runners on first with one down. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. At 
plate now is Randy Rosarena. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. 4-2 to the final score tonight. The National League All-Stars took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jack Flaherty is credited with the win. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. National League All-Stars, four runs on four hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the visitors, two runs, six hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.